Well, a chill is in the air in the city by the bay. Some of San Francisco's most notorious ghosts are still haunting the halls of hotels around the Bay Area. Monique Sultani introduces us to one of San Francisco's top ghost hunters who wants to prove that some spirits are still very much alive. On this All Hallows Eve, the city by the bay has been taken over by the creatures of the night. San Francisco has ghosts. <laughs> you could stand looking out on San Francisco Bay and see a number of haunted places. <laughs> the hunt is on this Halloween to find the ghosts and the ghouls. The first stop, the Queen Anne Hotel. The ghost here has been haunting for over 100 years. It was opened as a girls' school in 1891. Miss Mary Lake still haunts this place and she looks after the hotel guests. She will tuck them in, she'll stroke their hair, she'll rub their arms and give them comfort, which is pretty strange for a ghost, but it's a very safe and intriguing way for people to experience a ghost. Up in room 401, which was Mary Lake's former office, uh, there are a number of accounts of people staying in that room and having the blankets tucked in around them. All kinds of things have happened here. People have seen the ghosts. There have been 10 reports, 10 people I've interviewed, who saw a full body apparition of Mary Lake. The family stayed here because their daughter, their nine-year-old daughter had a brain tumor and they were going to UCSF hospital to get her checked out. And the ghost of Mary Lake showed up and told mom, the little girl's gonna be just fine. They went over to the hospital to get the girl checked out. Her brain tumor is benign. The Queen Anne Hotel is just one of the many historical haunts scaring up the city. There's a ghost right across the street of Mary Ellen Pleasant, who was uh, a leader in the Underground Railroad movement. And if you say something bad about her, you're going to get popped. The Golden Gate Bridge is notoriously haunted, too. Uh, it's unfortunately been the site of many suicides. I think the most haunted place in San Francisco is probably Alcatraz Island. The extreme emotion there, these were the, the worst of the worst criminals that this country ever produced. A lot of cultures feel that a ghost cannot cross running water. And with the tidal action, the strong tidal action in San Francisco Bay, that means that those ghosts are there for eternity. Bringing you the best in California. <coughs> From San Francisco, I'm Monique Saltani for California Life.